My name is Jimmy Gathu, I'm 45 years old, a father of three and a grandfather of one. I'm a media practitioner. My wife already knew that I've, you know, I've, I've always wanted kids. So my wife said, you know, we need, we need to be sure. So we just don't keep trying and wondering what's going on. We went to see our doctor and he was very surprised. I, I didn't know why then. So he told my wife to step out for a bit and because he wanted to have a discussion with me. So he said, have you ever heard of a fertility test? So he explained to me what it entails. For me, it wasn't a big deal then. I wanted us to have another child. Whatever it would take, let's do it. We went through the fertility test. When I explained that to some of my friends, and they were shocked at me accepting to do that. It's not a big deal. It's called supporting the person who you say you love. Thank God we got our second baby. It's amazing how people find it taboo that the man's responsibility is bounded uh, within the confines of the living room. I think I know only one or two who, who have gladly gone through a fertility test because they wanted to be sure. Many will say, no, that's not my responsibility. And the more you ask, they become very hard on you. They call you names, and I've been called names. Fertility is a shared responsibility, whether we like it or not. If you claim that you want a family, you cannot say that fertility remains the responsibility of the woman. Don't be embarrassed by saying that your second child is adopted. Don't be embarrassed by saying that you and your wife got together and decided together to have a surrogate mother. In this day and age, that should not be an embarrassing uh, situation. It is a shared responsibility. It is you doing things together. So you learn to share other things because you have that very personal, very scary. It is scary. Um, is it embarrassing? Of course it is. I mean, it's not easy for somebody to say, I can't bear children. But can you accept it? You should. Because it's, there's nothing wrong with that. There's no harm, there's no shame to that at all. Uh, will this change? I think it will change if more men start talking. Many men think they go through these things alone and they find it very scary to come out in the open and say, you know what, I do things that are not ordinarily what men would thump their, their chest and say, that's a man's job. You according that child an opportunity to belong, an opportunity to invest in his or her future, an opportunity to share or to teach or inculcate your culture or what your beliefs are, modern, of course, to that child, so that he bears your name and bears your DNA in terms of what your beliefs are. That is bigger than um, what society terms, you know, that biological uh, process of bearing a child. It's a powerful experience. We just have to know it, understand it, and then talk about it. The more we talk about it, the easier it gets to anyone who wants to find out. But when you keep quiet, because society has a different impression or perception about a man, you lose. You will live society's life, not yours. I don't think I want to do that. I don't think you should. <laughs>